And now we have two Notre Dame graduates who really live out the family part of Notre Dame family, Paul and Cindy Stark. Paul is from the class of 1980, Cindy from the class of 81. In addition to having four children of their own, they have served as foster parents for, listen to this, 48 children, along with a foreign exchange student from Brazil, and they've done this all over the past 23 years. Paul and Cindy, welcome to Notre Dame Day. We are so glad that you're here. And I can't wait to hear about your story. And Cindy, I understand it starts with a tradition of giving back that you grew up with. I did. My parents were just incredible in the way they gave of their time and talent to other people who were in need. And when I came to Notre Dame, I knew that that was something I might want to do. I just didn't know what. I was a young, insecure teenage girl, and I left uh, finding my passion, which is fostering and adopting. And I brought this guy along for the ride. <laughs> it didn't start out as my passion, but when, uh, when we got engaged, she said to me, uh, this is something I want to do, and are you in? And I said, I'm, I'm all in. So. So I understand you adopted Nicole from China. Correct. And then you started fostering children. Correct. I, what was it that made you want to bring these children into your home just you know, for a temporary period of time? What did you think you could give them? Well, when I was here at Notre Dame, I met a woman who was in the marketing department as an administrative assistant. And back then, she had two biological children, and she had adopted two African-American boys. And she welcomed me into her home, and I saw what a beautiful family it was with the diversity and the different ways of being at that point in time. And then I saw a speaker on campus, Dorothy DeBolt, and she uh, was part of a documentary. And that documentary said, who is uh, the DeBolt family and how did they get 19 kids? And I know, 19 kids, can you believe it? Yeah. And so we saw how adoption and fostering paid a role in their lives. And I just decided that was a passion I wanted to pursue. And we've now fostered through two different programs. You know, my colleague, Hoda Kotb, back at NBC in New York, she just adopted her second child. Right. And she said, you know, you think your life is full, and then you realize you have room for more. Is that, I mean, you had four children of your own, right? Right. I, how have they reacted to this? Actually, uh, very well. First of all, they were engaged in the decision. So when we said we were going to bring a child into our home, we would typically have a family meeting and say, this is the child, this is, this is the situation, they need our help, are you in? And the, the kids invariably said yes, but the kids would share their, their rooms with these children. Um, they, they lived side by side. And do you still have contact with the kids that you had in your home? You some possibly? we do and some we don't. So the first program took kids from around the world who needed surgical care. Mm -hmm. And so we brought them to the United States through a Miles for Kids and American Airlines, and the doctors donated their time and we donated our care. And so through that, we learned the great courage of these young people who had so many problems, and yet they found ways to be happy. Think of being a parent, putting your child on a plane to a foreign country, no, I can't right? No. That they have no idea of the language, and yet they found joy in uh, being there and getting healthy. And so we're grateful it took a whole community. The second program, we take in kids who are mostly babies, but not always, but mostly babies who might be born drug or alcohol exposed, and we help detox them. So we've learned that there are so many people involved, whether it's a biological parent, an adoptive parent, us, who kind of bridge that gap. We're those guardian angels for those kids for the time they're in our home. But there's also um, separation for privacy purposes. Mm -hmm. But we typically don't know the, the birth families. And when the child is placed for adoption, we typically, unless the adoptive family wants, uh, they won't meet us because it's, it's all about the privacy of everyone. Just quickly, how has fostering children enriched your lives? Oh gosh, it taught us to be fearless, right? To have courage. It taught us that life doesn't always go the way you plan. So if there are people out there who want to adopt or become a family, there's so many different ways to become a family, whether it's through fostering, adoption, having biological kids of your own. And finally, it taught us joy to embrace the crazy because we have so many <laughs> stories of kids that, 
you know, who had their legs amputated and when they had their prosthetic leg, the foot would be turned around backwards and they'd be running through the mall and people would be looking going, what's going on there with that child? And we learned to laugh and enjoy the crazy. Well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your experience. And I like that phrase, embrace the crazy. <laughs> I think that's great. I'm going to hang on to that. Thank you very much.